Hello there and welcome to the November 2016 edition of Media Sales Monthly. Sales Fuel's most recent audience scan survey found 23% of U.S. adults plan to shop at a locally owned business on Small Business Saturday, which is November 26th this year. And although this is a negligible drop from last year, it's a nearly 20% drop from 2014. Are small businesses doing enough to promote this holiday shopping day? You can help them. Small Business Saturday shoppers want to buy the stuff small businesses specialize in. Antique dealers, audio shops, and spas salons are in the sweet spot for spending this year. They also intend to buy consumer services like carpet and window cleaning, maid service, and furniture refinishing and repair, either as unique gifts or to prep their homes for all their holiday guests. The small business community is missing opportunities. These consumers are proud to shop small, so remind your small business clients to promote their goods and services in advance of this unique shopping holiday. And Sales Fuel can help you out. We created a full white paper with more data on these shoppers and unique ideas for you to share with your small business clients. Download this timely free white paper today under the News tab at salesfuel.com. The latest projections from eMarketer show the typical retailer can expect to see online orders jump more than 17% for the coming holiday season, defined as November and December, and these online sales will likely amount to nearly 11% of total holiday retail sales. So your clients must be prepared if they want to turn in a better than average performance this year. Retailers already know they're up against some tough competition. Amazon dominates. In fact, Amazon accounted for 25% of all online holiday sales in 2015. But your clients can compete by arming themselves with everything Amazon doesn't have. Retailers who carry inventory that can't be found anywhere else have a natural advantage over online giants. Your clients also need to establish a solid mobile commerce presence. This year, 2.4% of all retail sales will take place on smartphones, just as sales are coming down from tablets. Finally, advise your clients their advertising should start early, be frequent, and be memorable. In sales, it's important to build trust quickly, preferably during the first meeting with a prospect. Unfortunately, many of these first conversations fall flat. Craig Workman, in an article for Sales Engine, advises us there are easy ways to avoid a bad meeting. He reminds us not to treat the meeting like a round of speed dating. This is not the time to try to win over the prospect by rattling off your accomplishments. The first meeting isn't a time to sell, but rather establish rapport and start building trust. You can accomplish this by arriving prepared. Research the prospect. Select two or three standout facts that impress you and bring them up during the conversation. Showcasing your dependability. Take time to confirm the time and place with the prospect before the meeting. And if you make any promises during the meeting, be sure to follow through within 24 hours. Being authentically humble. If the moment presents itself, fess up to any past mistakes. It won't scare them away, but rather reveals your honesty and ability to learn from past stumbles. It's one of the quickest ways to build trust and show you're authentic. This first meeting is a vital time to establish yourself as a valuable, trustworthy provider. So take it seriously. That's it for this edition of Media Sales Monthly. I'm Douglas Sells.